M0 FXB. So we'll move on to the uh, the DR mode, the sort of D-star mode of the ICOM 52. So the most important thing I'd say at first is get your call sign in there. So to do that, what you would do is push menu here, select my station here, then my call sign. Then you can have more than one. So select number one for now, or you can edit, edit one. Edit clear if you want. So enter your call sign. So you enter your enter your call sign, then push enter. See how to enter characters on the on the right page. So we haven't seen that, but I'm guessing you can just um, enter with the middle button. Turn the the channel the knob the channel knob to select the different characters. Like so, because I'm literally just reading this menu this as we go. So set your call sign and select enter, and then once your call sign's in there, here it is here, right, how to enter characters. So the dial, the small dial selects a character. The up arrow selects a character as well, and looking at this, the down arrow does as well. So the DR and the RX here is like an up and down for characters. You don't have to use the dial. Um, Menu is the cancel, so if you make a mistake, no, actually, menu is cancel. Uh, if you make a mistake, it's clear, I think, here, clear. Let's just read it. Continuously hold down CLR, CLR. so here, clears character. Push quick display to uh, display the entry mode select window. In the entry mode select window, rotate the dial to select an entry mode, then push enter. There you go, and enter is the middle button, the sort of blue color in the middle. You cannot change the entry mode in the My Call Sign Edit screen. So you can en enter a note of <coughs> up to four characters, such as the model of the transceiver, name, area name after your call sign. So basically, you can put your call sign in, go after the slash, and you could put, say, Andy or ID52. So that, Yeah, I'll do that. It's the same as my 705. So that's it, really. So the main thing is get your call sign in there. Uh, this registering your call sign with the gateway repeater. Now, I've had lots of problems with that, but you can give it a go, D-Star Gateway System. I found for all the functions I need to do, I didn't have to do that. I can just use my hotspot, uh, and it just works. And even if you use um, things like Doozy or Terminal Mode and things like that, you, th I can still manage to get things to work without having to do this. Um, but yeah, you know, you can look into it if you like. So just go a bit further, the gateway stuff. And then just a simplex call, push D-pad to, to select from. So yeah, it's the same as, it's, it's your typical DR mode. You've got the from section at the bottom, the CQ section on the two, um, and this is uh, this is again you got on the from section when you push downwards. So the DR, hold it down. You're going to be selecting either your hotspot or a repeater. And on the top section, if you're using your hotspot at home, you want it to say uh, use use reflector. If you're going to go on say reflector one. Um, so if you're familiar with DR mode, and then yeah, you just speak. Um, in DR mode, it will automatically be in, in DV, and you can select um, location, and you can select DPRS in this mode as well. So, D-Star operation, yeah, if you want a simplex call, you can literally just go, come out of DR mode by holding down the DR button here, see the DR, hold that down, and you'll go back into normal mode, which is like um, VFO mode. Uh, then you can put in the frequency and then select mode here to go it to make sure you're in DV. And then you would need to go into your CS settings and make sure your repeater one and repeater two is, is correct uh, for that. So yeah, it's not really a tutorial on the on, on the DR mode, but just telling you um, you know what I'm used to with my other ICOM radios. So okay, well this is seven three for now and I hope this helps.